The North Carolina Tar Heels in a big game against the 11th ranked Florida State Seminoles. 79.8, and yet, Corey, they have no individual Seminoles in the top 20 in scoring, which speaks to their depth and talent. Getting that number one seed in the ACC tournament. Same starting lineup for the Heels that Coach Williams has settled on in recent weeks. You see early. Florida State will switch screen and rolls. They will allow their bigs to step out and defend. Andrew Playtech and Anthony Harris off the Carolina bench. They go high-low into Dayron Sharp. Over the double team, no. Kessler crashes the glass. North Carolina is 3 for 15 from the floor with seven turnovers already, and I'm sure that that's a much-needed bucket for North Carolina, considering that they're only shooting 21.1% from the field. So it's not as though North Carolina has played well to help themselves in that cause, but give just struggling to do anything on the offensive end of the floor. Give Florida State's defense a lot of credit, but you know, you also have to give the player on the best team. And when you think about that, that's normally going to get you there. But the problem for me with Florida State, and this is not a problem with MJ Walker football school. I know there are people that won't like that, but hey, that's the reality of it. But I don't think just because you're a Basketball school now done defensively as well. And he actually had one of the top blocks of the week yeah, on just college game day earlier. This has been a carbon copy of the start of the game. Carolina took a 5-0 lead off of Florida State turnovers. They scored the first four points here in the second half. Now the first six points making some noise as the Tar Heels are back to within six. Walton feeds Kessler who draws a crowd, steps around and throws it down. But still, with two weeks, two weeks remaining, a lot of basketball left to be played in ACC. Walton, nothing but net. Uh, offensively, he can facilitate, makes everyone around him better. So he's the epitome of the modern NBA to me, and I love what he brings from a toughness standpoint as well. Should stay in school, or is he on your draft board coming up for this summer? Yeah, we have Dayron as a projected first round pick right now. I think if he does go back to school, you know, he could potentially hear his name in the lottery. If I could sing, I wouldn't be either. I'd be singing on air. It's all I'd be part glad of I can't sing, Dougie Fred. <laughs> <laughs> it's all part of the gospel of Leonard Hamilton. Florida State led in the first half by as many as 16 points. And another, another takeaway on the run to the bucket. Layup missed, Baycott hustling and fighting for two more. Muggsy Bowles, Reggie Williams, oh, Reggie yeah. Lewis, David Wingate. So remember that team. You forget all how old I am. Of course I remember. <laughs> okay, all right. So you're saying Davis the, for three. And he makes a big one right there to make it a one possession game. But Gray does have five turnovers in this game. And that's been part of the issue for Florida State, especially here in the second half. And he's got the heels back up by five. And all the great players that North Carolina has had wearing this uniform with the Argyle up and down the side. I'm not sure they've ever had a seven further that can go off the dribble. Turned around, Corey. Leaky Black with the beautiful find to Walker Kessler, who runs the floor beautifully. And not on this one, but there you go. There's the mean mug. I see you, Walker. <laughs> Florida State led in the first half by as many as 16 points, led 41-29 at the break, but led by that man. Walker Kessler, it has been all heels in the second half. Continue to build on their win total and try to win a national championship. But as you, as you mentioned, Mike Schmidt saying that he may be on that radar. He's no stranger to making big shots. Trying to throw it down, had it knocked away by Caleb Love. Big I mean, defensive it, it, play by the freshman point guard. It was, but I'm not sure if Caleb got any basketball on that one. It would be interesting to see that one. Oh, wait a minute. Mondo doesn't want us to see that. He wants us to see him. <laughs> Here goes Caleb Love. Tough shot, and he can't get the roll. It's tipped back up and in. Carolina's taking care of its business at the free throw line. Now making their last 18 to make sure they keep the Seminoles at bay. Final five seconds. MJ Walker. And that'll do it. A signature victory for Coach Williams, number 900 in his Hall of Fame career. And as he'll say, more importantly,
for what it does for this year's team in its quest to get into the NCAA tournament. And congratulations to Roy Williams joining the 900 club, fastest to reach that milestone in Division I men's basketball history. Walker Kessler, a career-high 20 points, 8 rebounds. Carolina wins 78-70 behind their Hall of Fame head coach, Roy Williams.